In this video, you're going to see a lot of Scratch, but it's not really a Scratch video. Scratch was the tool I used to make this drawing and repeat the drawings. So what you see is a fractal. It's um, a drawing that would look the same if we could zoom in forever and ever. We would see all of those repeating triangles. Um, and it's made using just those six steps that just flashed across the screen repeated over and over again. So to start with, this drawing is based on the shape of a triangle. The triangle could have any corners. Um, an equilateral triangle is, is, a, is a usual way it looks, kind of like that. And, but in this project, uh, I started with random corners, just so that uh, we'd be able to see that no matter where the corners start, we can still generate the same repeating pattern uh, all the way uh, through the triangle. And so what I'm doing here is first picking three different uh, XY coordinates and saving them in the list, uh, making three corner sprites. Each one of them will go to a separate corner. And the cat, I'm leaving in there to be the sprite that does the drawing. So the cat holds the pen that will draw all of the dots that go into this. So this is all set up when the green flag is clicked, uh, it generates three XY pairs and corner one goes to the first pair, corner two goes to the second pair, corner three goes to the third pair. And then there is, uh, the cat will go to a random position anywhere on the board, it doesn't really matter. And, and then we'll pick a random number, uh, one, two, or three, and depending on which one is picked, the cat will point towards that corner and move halfway to that corner. Wherever that is, uh, it's just going to leave a pen dot and repeat that over and over again. And so here it's repeating a thousand times this time. Now, while I was doing this, things were going all over the place. And that's not really what I expected. So what the problem was right there, the random button is only supposed to happen once after that. It's supposed to stay in the triangle. And you can kind of see the pattern forming there with a thousand repeats. Um, really, it's done. Uh, this is it. And it just depends on how many times you want to repeat. Now, Scratch has a turbo mode that pretty much does it instantly. And you can see each one of them is a different um, shaped triangle, but each one follows the same triangle inside of a triangle pattern. And then finally, this is how it started. I thought I'd try to do it by hand. Um, so the, to get a random number, I was rolling dice. And you can see uh, it's going a lot slower. It wasn't really the best choice. By the end, you can kind of see the triangle shapes starting to form. Um, 